There's a photo in Greg Mortensen's book Three Cups of Tea that allegedly show the author with a group of Taliban who kidnapped and held him for eight days in the mid 1990s. But Padam Gul, an Islamabad-based entomologist who is shown in the photo, told Al Jazeera that Mortensen's claims are not true. How can someone who has been kidnapped stand in the open and have his picture taken with his kidnappers? He had a gun around his shoulder in the picture. Who would give him a gun? He could do anything to save himself. So you're saying you never kidnapped Greg Mortensen in 1996 and that you're not part of the Taliban? There was no Taliban presence at that time in Pakistan. I am an educated person, and as far as Greg Mortensen is concerned, he has violated me. He has slandered my fair name and has stigmatized me. Mansour Masood, who works for an Islamabad-based think tank, was also in Mortensen's photo. He pulls no punches when asked about the author's claims. He is lying. He was not kidnapped. He was our guest. And in 1996, there were no Taliban in uh, Waziristan or in whole of Fata. Why would Greg Mortensen lie? To impress people and sell his book. I just want that he should be exposed, that the world should know that he is a cheater and a fraud. Badam Gul, however, wants to take things a step further. I want to take legal action because he has mentally tortured me with all of this. I am an ordinary man who is educated and he says something like this about me, that I was involved in kidnapping, that I am the Taliban. It's a terrible thing. It's abuse. Al Jazeera contacted Greg Mortensen's charity, the Central Asia Institute for Comment, but was not provided with one. However, Mortensen did give an interview with a US-based magazine where he admitted to some factual inaccuracies, but attributes them to what he described as omissions and compressions. But when questioned in a separate interview about his alleged 1996 kidnapping, Mortensen insists he was held against his will. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.